What's up guys, this is Andy here with Ultimate Device Vids, and in this video we're going to be checking out 5 new jailbreak tweaks for September 2016. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So first up, we have Glances. This one's available for $2.99. This essentially supercharges your control center and adds numerous pages that provide useful information. This is actually very similar to a feature that used to be on the Apple Watch in Watch OS 1 and 2, but it was actually removed with 3. But either way, it's very convenient, so just go ahead and slide up the normal gesture for a control center, then you're going to be seeing this tweak. So basically, there's numerous pages within this tweak. So as you can see here, we can just slide across like this, and there we go. We have a weather page, as you can see. We have a calendar events page, a battery page, as you can see right here. And of course, we have our normal controls just like this. And we could keep swiping. We have a music page, so to control the music when we're playing it. And we also have an app launching page where we could, you know, basically configure our favorite apps to show up here, which I'll show you guys how to do in just a second. Now, as you can see up the top, we have this bar that allows us to quickly tap on a specific glance so you could get to the one that you want to get to fastest, just like this. You could just slide up there and tap on it, the one you want. There's also the shortcut page, which lists them all as well, so you could do the same thing from there as well. So, to set this tweak up to your liking and, you know, configure it just kind of to a higher degree, you can jump into settings and then head over to glances, and in here you can enable or disable the tweak, of course, respring to, you know, make sure all the changes are applied. Then you want to go into glance selection. This allows you to rearrange your glances and disable some if you don't want them to be there. If you want to disable one, just drag it in disabled, and it's gone. So, as you can see, I just disabled the favorite apps one, and as you can see, now it's nowhere to be found. So, it's as easy as that. Let me just drag it back up. Of course, you can rearrange as well. Let's say I wanted my apps to be first. So now, as you can see here, it's first just like that. Very simple. We'll just move that back down here. Let's just go back out here. And then we have opening behavior, which allows us to essentially configure what glance it will automatically open to. Uh, by default, it's the shortcut glance that has all these options right here. So you could select the one you want. You could also do the last glance, which is just the last one you were on. So let's just check that. Now, if I go to weather, when I come back, as you can see, it's still going to be on weather. You can also have it be the leftmost or the rightmost of the one far to the left or far to the right. Um, and then we have open to specific glance. This is the one that I recommend. So if you have one that you know you're always going to want to go to, you could go in here and then you could just drag one up. Let's just say we always want it to open to control center. I mean, that makes sense. That's probably the most frequently used one. So now when we pop in here, it's automatically going to go there. But again, you could still access all your other ones just by sliding. Simple as that. Uh, then we could disable it on the lock screen, which is enabled by default. You have a dark mode, which is pretty cool. So you can have a darker theme like this. It looks pretty sleek. Uh, then we have the glances shortcut bar, which is that bar at the top that allows you to choose the one that you want to go to. So I do like that there. Um, then we have the some size configuration, shadow intensity, just some visual configuration there. You could also use military time for the weather scale. And then you have temperature scale, you have Fahrenheit or Celsius. And then of course you have your favorite apps configuration right here. So uh, let's just say we wanted to have the app store up there. We could just drag it up to enabled and let's just say settings. So now if we just go ahead and open up that app launcher section, those apps will be there as you can see right here and we could just launch them easily like so, simple as that. So let's just go back to settings now. We'll use the app launcher to do so. So um, we have activator as well. So you could use activator to essentially use a certain gesture to make this tweak show up. You could go into activator methods and choose your own. There are some that are configured by default. There's drag up from the screen bottom, bot screen bottom left and screen bottom right. So if you disabled these, as you can see right here, you actually won't get this tweak to show up when you slide up. And if you actually toggle off disable control center, then, you, then you'll actually get the normal control center. So if you want this tweak to be independent from control center, you can uncheck those actions. Now you have normal control center, and then you could just choose a separate gesture for this tweak. For example, let's just say 3D touch on the status bar. So now when I 3D touch on the status bar, I get this tweak, but... Also, when I slide up, I get normal control center. So that's entirely up to you. And to be honest, you could also just leave the gestures as they were. So if we just scroll back down here, the slide in from screen bottom, screen left, and screen right, um, you could still have those, but you could also have another one. For example, I still have my 3D touch on status bar, and that works as well. Again, or you could disable control center. That's up to you. And of course, you can follow the developer on Twitter, look at his website. So really awesome tweak, very in-depth, very useful. Once again, it's called Glances. It's available in City for $2.99. Oh, and one more thing for Glances. I just wanted to show you guys what the music player looks like when you're actually playing music. So as you can see right there, we have the nice album artwork. Everything's laid out very nicely. Of course, we have the scrubber, so it just looks very good. Just wanted to quickly point that out.
Next up, we have App Restrict. This tweak allows you to disable a certain application from being launched from one time to another time. So this is for those social media applications that are constantly distracting you throughout your day. You know, maybe you have a certain amount of time that you know that you're not going to want to use that application. You know, it's just a habit we have. We just open up these applications automatically, keep checking them. But this tweak, again, will just give you a message telling you that you've disabled it and it won't let you open it until that time period is done. Now, of course, if you need to get into that application, you could just disable it yourself but it's just to kind of give you that little mental warning saying hey don't do this right now so after you install the tweak you will have the app restrict icon on your home screen just jump into the app and in here you have a list of all the apps on your device so let's just go ahead and jump into let's say the Twitter application that's a big distraction for me so if we just jump into there you could toggle on enable restrictions and then you just have a start time and an end time very simple so if we just go into start time it's 3 40 p.m right now so we'll just choose 3 40 p.m and then that as you can see right here if we click ok that's now the start time we go to end time let's do 3 43 p.m as well so just so i could demonstrate this to you guys all right, so now that's enabled, the restrictions are toggled on, we're good to go. So if we just go ahead and try to launch the Twitter app, as you can see, it's as simple as that. App restrict, Twitter is currently restricted, click OK, and that's it. So you can't actually get into this app. Now, again, if, that's of course until it hits the time that we selected. Now, if it's an emergency and you need to get into the app and you know, you're know you not just trying to distract yourself, you could jump into app restrict, jump into Twitter, and just disable it. And now, of course, when we just go ahead and jump into Twitter, as you can see, it's going to open up just fine. So again, it's just to kind of prevent you from those distractible applications. But it's a very native looking tweak. It looks very good, works perfectly, nothing to complain about. Also inside the app, I just wanted to point out, you can actually select sort at the top here, and then you have the option to sort by date name, date modified, and data usage. So that's pretty cool there. There's also some settings to configure up here. You can enable or disable the tweak globally. You could show the hidden apps in iOS, which are basically things like this that are internal stuff I don't really see why you'd want to do that you could also have it so it shows an alert you know when the application is tapped on as you saw there if you don't want that you could just disable it so nothing will happen you could also use touch ID to restrict the application with your fingerprint which is pretty cool as well I don't have touch ID enabled so that's grayed out but that's actually a really cool feature then we have a UI theme we could have light or dark so if we select dark now the application has a dark mode which is really cool iOS needs to take some lessons from this and implement a dark mode hopefully we'll see that later on but Anyways, really cool tweak. Once again, it's called App Restrict. Restrict those applications that are always distracting you. Next up, we have Message Typing Indicators, and this is an incredibly cool tweak. Basically, this tweak allows you to disable the typing indicators in the messages application when you're sending iMessages to somebody else. So when you're typing, they actually won't be able to see that dot, dot, dot indicating that you're typing. So this is something that I've actually wanted for a really long time. I don't know. It gives me anxiety knowing people are looking at what I'm typing. So this is basically how it works. After you install it, just jump into settings and then head over to messages. And in here, essentially, you just have a new toggle. It's very well integrated into the system. It's just called Typing Indicator. As you can see there, it allows others to be notified when you're typing in iMessages. You could just disable that, and then the tweak's essentially all set up. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys over here. So as you can see, both messages applications are open. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and send myself a message from the iPhone on the left to the iPhone on the right. And as you see there, there is the Typing Indicator as normal. You know, you get the dot, dot, dot. And of course, when I select Send, it's going to show up like so. But the iPhone on the right has the tweak installed. So when I type on that device, as you can see right there, the typing indicator does not show up on the other iPhone. And of course, if I select send, it just shows up immediately just like that. So very, very cool tweak, you know, how well this works. And also like how it's well integrated into the settings app. And once again, as you see right there, there was no typing indicator. But with the other iPhone there, you can see there is the typing indicator. Um, so yeah, guys, once again, this is called message typing indicators. And, you know, this is something that a lot of other messaging clients have, you know, there's actually an option to disable those typing indicators, but iOS simply doesn't offer that for iMessage. So hopefully we'll get a toggle in the future that's implemented, implemented into iOS. But until then, this is definitely something you're going to want to check out and it's free as well. So nothing to lose there. Next up, we have Adaptive Color Power. This tweak will basically change the battery icon that shows up on the lock screen when you first plug in your device to the color of the wallpaper that's set on your lock screen. So it just blends in a little bit better. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. We'll just lock the device here, and I'll show you guys when I plug into power. The first time when I'm on the lock screen, you can see there the battery indicator that shows up there is the same color as the wallpaper that I have set. Now, the only downside is you can't actually see 
you know, the progress of the battery charging within that big indicator there. Of course, you still have it in the status bar, but you do lose that with this tweak because it all just blends in. So it definitely looks better in terms of the colors matching, but again, you definitely lose that large indicator there. But of course, again, you also have it in the status bar, so that's completely up to you whether you want to use this tweak. Now, if you guys jump into settings, you can actually enable or disable the tweak. So let's jump into adaptive color power, then you could enable or disable right there. You could also follow the developer on Twitter. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much just it for this tweak, and it's called adaptive color power. It's free. Next up, we have Launchpad. This tweak adds a page system to reachability when you're inside of application. So let's just go ahead and jump into, let's say, the settings application here. If we just go ahead and bring up reachability or bring down reachability by double, tashing, double tapping the touch ID sensor, as you can see, we actually have numerous pages. So we have a music controls page right here. We have a list of all the apps on our device so we could quickly access an app. Let's just say Safari. We could just tap on it, and there you go. It takes us right there. Let's just go ahead and jump back into reachability here. And then if we slide over, we have the date right there. We have notifications view, so we can see those in here. We also have controls right inside of reachability. And we have a battery section. Uh, then we have the weather condition right there. You actually open weather right from here. And that's pretty much it. So that basically just adds a page system to this view. Let me just show you guys what it looks like when we're playing music. So we'll just go ahead and jump uh, to the music app. And we'll just go ahead and play some music here. And I'll show you. There you go. Looks pretty decent. You get the scrubber there as well at the top. Play, pause, skip, everything like that. And if you guys jump into settings, you can actually configure some elements of this tweak. So let's just jump into Launchpad. You can enable or disable the tweak, of course, up at the top. Then you can go into General. You have Auto Dismiss Reachability, which will automatically dismiss as it normally does. But that's disabled by default because obviously you're probably going to want to see the information in here for longer. So you could hang out like this for a long period of time. There's also Use Color. So if you want to have a basically color behind the pages, you could do that. So let's just make it red, let's say. And you, you do have to respring in order to make that change apply, so you're not gonna be seeing it immediately. Uh, then you could go into pages. Now, when you install this tweak by default, there's everything is inside of do not include, so just make sure you drag everything up to include, just like that. So I have everything in there. Then you could also hide the page dots because there are dots up at the top. Then you could open to essentially whichever page here. You could go one, two, three, four, five, six, or seven. So let's just try three. So let's just say we wanted it to be date and time. Change it to that. You could also hide the slider as well. So now that we've done all that, let's just go ahead and select respring to apply everything so everything is, you know, updated. All right, so let's just jump back into an application and now we'll pull down reachability. And there you go. As you can see, it opens up to that page that I selected, the third page, like that. And also everything's red, as you can see with the background there. So yeah, everything's applied, but yeah, guys, just add some information or add some, I guess, options to reachability. Once again, it's called Launchpad. It's $2.50. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed these tweaks. If you did, make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks, iOS, iOS devices, and much more. Also, make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.